Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can create a scroll bar indicator. So in this video, I'll be creating a scroll bar, progress bar kind of a thing above the scroll bar, which will show you the progress or how much you have scrolled so far in that page. So for that, I'll be using one of my previous example, which was to enable checkbox, enable terms and condition checkbox when the scroll reached to bottom. So using that same example, we'll be just checking out the scroll position, like what is the current position and based on the current position, we will be having different value in that progress bar. I recently came across this example and the UI was so impressive that I thought it would be worth sharing with you guys. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. So first let me show you like what would be the output of this functionality and then I'll show you the build of the functionality and how you can use it in your org itself. Okay, so let me quickly move to output first. So this is the functionality. So this is my progress bar. You can see this is one of my previous example where I have enabled the terms and condition checkbox which is here behind this behind my video. and. Uh, to enable it, user has to scroll to bottom. After that only it will be enabled. So I have used same example and now if I will scroll here, so you can see this progress bar uh, is filling up with green color based on the scroll position. And if I will scroll to bottom, it will be 100%. And now if I will scroll up again, it is going to be in the decreasing manner accordingly. Okay. So I'll show you how you can build this functionality and to build this functionality, we'll be using one of my previous example. So for that, you can simply go on my blog, which is salesforcebold.com and hit the search icon and search for scroll. So this is the example scroll to bottom to enable terms and condition checkbox. So we'll be using the similar kind of a functionality because in this example also I have checked the scroll position and based on that scroll position I have performed some actions. So let me quickly copy the code then I'll explain like what I have done so far and what changes you have to turn in your code as well. So I have created a custom component which is scroll indicator which is having one CSS, HTML and JS. So in HTML I will be having this complete HTML and in JS let's have the whole JS. You can guys feel free to copy it as per a requirement. Okay. Yep. That looks good. And there must be some CSS as well. Yes. Here it is. So CSS I will copy here. So this is just container CSS right now. Okay. So guys from the HTML side, we are just having one div container here which is container div and where we are having like a custom CSS here I'll show you the CSS and here we are just having some text lightning input which is not needed in this example but we'll take it so in container I'm just having a fixed height here and overflow text I'm making it scroll because I mean only after a fixed height you will be able to see the scroll bar so that's why I have added it now on the JavaScript guys I have created an event listener on the render of this component okay and uh, the event is the scroll event okay so I have added this scroll event in my container div which is my parent div here so if you will see scroll up this is my container div which is basically my parent div here okay so on my main container I have applied this scroll uh, event listener and also Whenever you are adding an event listener, don't forget to remove it on the disconnected callback as I'm doing it here. Okay. Now, here I'm having my container first here and from this container, I'm having a scroll minimum value and maximum value using scroll top function. Okay. So here I'm having scroll minimum and scroll maximum and then I'm get, getting a target value using a scroll height. Uh, a scroll height uh, minus client height okay and if target value is greater than client scroll minimum value and target value is less than client scroll maximum value then I'm making this checkbox true which is not important 
in the functionality i'm saying that thing again okay so you can ignore this if condition here because that is not needed actually or let me do one thing let me quickly remove it okay so i will remove this from here let me remove is disabled as well and from html also i will remove this thing yeah. i think this should be fine okay now let me deploy this component and let's see the default output what we are having and then we will try to modify the functionality as per the requirements okay that is deployed now now let me refresh the page okay so looks good to me now guys we need to add a progress bar here a progress indicator so for that first we will be creating a css here so one will be for a container and uh, another one is going to be for the progress bar itself so first we will create progress container and for that container we will just make its width 100 percent based on the components width and height let's keep it 8 pixels and background let's keep it a lighter gray background basically and apart from that you need another class for your progress bar so this is going to be the progress bar with the same height so height let's keep it 8 pixel and background let's keep it green okay so background color is green and the default width let's keep it zero percent okay so this will be my css for the progress container and the progress bar itself now i will add the progress container and progress bar here so i will add it underneath this terms and conditions so for that i will just go here terms and condition here it is now here what i will do is i will do another dev tag class i will add progress container first progress container so this is my class and inside this class i will be adding progress bar okay i will add data id and uh, let's name it my bar okay so the progress container and progress bar both are ready let's quickly save it and see the output so now we have created these static things but still we need to make it dynamic right okay it is deployed let me quickly refresh the screen so here you are able to see this gray bar this is going to be our progress indicator here so right now it is not going to work because whatever it is it is just a static values okay now let me show you what changes you need to do in the javascript file to have this progress indicator or progress bar here okay so for that guys let me show you first what values we are getting here in the client scroll minimum maximum and target value so for that let me just add some deeper blocks here maximum value and target value as well okay now let me deploy this to show you the output awesome it is deployed now let me go here again refresh and uh, I need to open inspect for that to show you the console logs. So here in console log if you will notice if I will scroll down so you can see client minimum value is 7, 7 pixels, 
client scroll maximum value is 17 and target value is 610 now if you will scroll down again so you see this is increasing 20 30 610 and if i will scroll to down so it is like uh 605 615 and so on based on the height of this okay so now we will increase the width of this uh, progress indicator uh, color bar based on the scrolled value okay so for that what we will do we can take this my bar first so i'll do a literal here and uh, we will get it the same way like we did for the div tag okay so the id was my bar so we are having my bar in this literal value now okay and we will have one scroll value as well so let's do it let scroll how much uh, it has scrolled already so for that uh, for scroll value i will do minimum value divided by target value multiply by 100 based on the calculation you have seen here on the console so i will take minimum value just to get the percentage guys minimum value divided by target value and i will multiply it by 100 so that's how we'll be getting the scroll percentage how much we have scrolled so far okay and then here we can do my bar dot style dot width equals to scrolled plus percentage sign so it will be increasing its width based on the scrolled value here okay okay now this scroll value guys is never going to be perfect because of sometimes you might be having some padding on your page and sometimes it could be you know some margin from here and there so here what we can do is we can add a condition here so if scrolled is greater than 97 percent so consider it as 100 and else if scrolled is less than 1 percent okay then consider it as 0 consider it as zero okay let me save it quickly and uh, show you the output now deploy source to arc okay okay it has deployed now now let me refresh the screen okay now let me try to scroll now now you will see this increasing percentage here so as i'm scrolling down you can see the scroll bar is also getting updated and let's assume if i will scroll to bottom so it is going to be 100 percent now if i will scroll back again so the same way it is going to be in decreasing and increasing manner based on your scroll position so that's how you can you know create this kind of a scroll indicator wherever it requires i mean these kinds of requirement are not pretty common i would say but still i mean if you will have this kind of requirement in your upcoming project then you know where to get it so that it is for today guys uh, and as always i'll be having complete code on my blog which is salesforcepool.com if you just need the code you can directly go to that blog and copy the code snippet so I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. If you like the video, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.